Welcome to Susie's Secret Recipes in the Little Country Store. And so guys, today I'm gonna to be making my cowboy taco pasta salad. Now that recipe came about about three or four years ago. Um, I was trying to think of something different to have for um, supper. And so I got in my kitchen and just started throwing this together and it turned out really good. And um, Richard really likes it. And so we're gonna have it for lunch today. So hang with me and we'll get this show on the road. So let's get started making our cowboy taco pasta salad. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, brown a pound and a half of hamburger meat. And then once it's um, brown, then you're going to drain the fat. Once you've got all the um, fat drained off, just let it sit there, put it aside, and let it cool. You want it to be totally cool for your pasta salad. Your next step, you're going to want to um, uh, cook your noodles. And I like to use the bow tie. I just think they're they're pretty and this is like two and a half cups so you're going to put this into your um, boiling water and uh, until it gets tender and soft and then it's going to be added to your um, meat mixture so let's get busy cutting up our vegetables So my hamburger meat is cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already added some uh, olive oil to my noodles and I'm just going to dump it on top. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is stir your meat and your noodles together for your bow ties, because that's what they are. And guys, I do have some fall stuff laying around. I have been in the middle of putting out some of my fall decorations. I've got my table in there, but I'll be showing you some of my stuff here in a little bit. Back to the salad. The next thing you're gonna do is take some taco seasoning. Now we like to use Kent Rollins taco seasoning. It's really good. And you just sprinkle it on top and we're gonna stir it in. Now you can do that and probably I've got to hit it on myself a little bit. You can put that over your meat before you put the, your bow ties in, but hey, we're going to stir it in and it'll be just fine. Okay. Let's get that stirred in. So now, I'm going to add some pinto beans. I have um, drained and washed these. So you don't want to just dump it in there like that. You want to make sure that it's drained and washed and stir it in. One day I was trying to figure out what I was going to fix for supper, so I just come up with this. And it uh, turned out really well, and so we, we enjoy it. So I thought, why not um, share it with you guys? Okay, so the next thing is, um, let's add some onion. We're a big onion fan, so this is some... Uh, actually out of our garden, some red onion. So this was probably two, I don't know, Richard, how much was it? You cut it up. It's probably so a cup and a half. About a cup and a half. He does my, a lot of my chopping because he does a whole lot better job than I do when it comes to chopping stuff. I will admit that. And then stir that in. Then some red bell pepper or green, whichever you want to use. I, we just had some red, so we uh, tomatoes that are from our garden too. Some black olives. You don't have to put this if you don't like it, but we do, so we're going to put that in. And I'm going to stir it before I start adding a lot more. You can basically put what you want to in this, guys. This is just stuff that I know that we like. We're also going to add a little bit of jalapenos and some uh, banana peppers. 
of those in. And if you want them chopped a little more, you can chop them up a little more. We don't care, we like it. And actually, we could eat it whole <laughs> and be happy. Okay, all right, that is so colorful and so pretty. Your next thing is you're gonna top it off with um, some shredded cheese. And this is about an eight ounce pack package. And just put it in. You know, guys, I may have needed a little bit bigger bowl. It's getting full. For all you bacon lovers, you can put bacon in it if you want to. I'm not going to, because I'm not a big bacon fan. But my husband is, so he can add it to his um, bowl when, he, when we get ready to eat. So, we're gonna take Catalina dressing. Oh, before that, sorry guys. You want to crush up some tortilla chips, or you can use Fritos, whichever. I just had some uh, tortilla chips left, and this is about the right amount. So we're going to put that inside, pour it on top. So you're going to top it off with Catalina dressing, and you this is a 16-ounce bottle, so you're going to use the whole entire thing and just pour it on top. And it's going to take a while to um, to mix this together. It's similar to my uh, Mexican salad that I, I fixed, but it just has a whole lot more stuff in, in it and a different dressing. Okay, let's get this stirred. I'm hungry, guys. Haven't eaten all day. This is really good. Of course, it's one of my favorite salads. It's got meat, vegetables, everything that you, you know, would want in it. And I love the crunchy of the tortilla chips. The Catalina dressing, it's a zesty Catalina dressing, um, tops it off. It has a wonderful flavor and it's just an overall good salad and it's a meal in itself. And so guys, if you would like this recipe, then just put it in the comments and I will see that you get it. And so guys, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you again for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And um, I will see you on Monday, next Monday for Monday Motivation at 7 o'clock a.m. Central Time and the following Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. for another episode of Susie's Secret Recipes. Happy trails. And so fall is my uh, favorite time to uh, decorate. It's just my favorite time of year. Um, I love the cool weather and um, the changing of all the colors. It's just a beautiful time of year, and so I love to um, decorate. And so my mom and I have this little thing. When it's September 1st, it's fall. Even if it's 100 degrees outside, we go ahead and we start getting our um, decorations out. Um, it just kind of gets us geared up for um, the fall season. So I do decorate um, most every room in the house, Richard would say every room, but <laughs> I won't show you every room, but I will show you my uh, living room, kitchen and dining room. A lot of the decorations that you see, the floral arrangements I, I've put together and um, I love to uh, distress canning jars and tint them um, into the colors that I, that I like and so um, I have a bunch of those. That afghan there, my grandma Naylor made, and um, she made it a long time ago, but uh, my mama gave it to me, and I absolutely love the colors. It fits in my um, living room. In fact, it stays there all year round, except during the Christmas season. So a lot of the decorations um, and just the overall decor in my living room is a very um, outdoorsy kind of western and um, cabiny. My husband loves to hunt and fish, and so um, that's kind of how my living room is set up. I have a lot of um, cowhide and and just 
different decor like that. A lot of my fall decorations uh, my mama made um, or was given to me by my sister and um, so a lot of them are sentimental to me. So uh, my decorations in my dining room and even in some in my kitchen, just the overall decorations, um, things that I have in there, uh, my sister gave me or my mother or, or they belong to my grandma. So it is very um, sentimental. I have a lot of vintage things and just, um, I love jadeite and the Green Depression and the red um, depression and then glassware but a lot of the um, stuff I uh, fall decorations I put together as you can see some of the distress canning jars um, I made those my mom made a lot of the pot holders that you see and um, a lot of the uh, um, well you're gonna see them here in a minute a lot of the pumpkins that I have especially on my table uh, my mom made The old ironing board actually belonged to my grandma Naylor, so it's very, very old. And so my dining room table decorations is my favorite. I love all the pumpkins on there. Mama made a bunch of them, and I just I like everything about it. Um, the quilt is made out of feed sacks. And so it's a very old and I just, I love the look of it. And I put it on my table the beginning of September and then it will go off um, when I decorate for Christmas. But it just, I don't know, it was my mother's and when I saw it, I told her, I said, I just gotta have that. Um, I wanted to put it on my table and um, I get a lot of compliments on it. It is beautiful. You'll see a better picture of it here in just a minute. There it is. It's just absolutely beautiful. A lot of hard work goes into that. And so it is time to reveal the winner to the contest that I had going last week. And that was how many eggs is in this jar? And so I had a lot of response, some for my shorts video, some on my video from last week and then some people private messaged me I'm trying to guess the amount and what I'm doing guys is I'm storing up eggs for the winter and um, so when my chickens stop laying in the winter when it gets really cold I will have some fresh eggs and so I've got two already completed and I'm working on this one but um, anyway the winner her name is Rebecca Grice and she guessed the right amount. There's 18 eggs in this jar. And so she is from Brookhaven, Mississippi. And so Rebecca, I will be sending you this goodie box full of really good stuff. I won't drag it all out, but anyway, I'll make sure that you get that. I'll mail it to you this week. Congratulations. And guys, I will be doing this again on down the road. I'll do another um, giveaway or some kind of contest. Anyway, see ya, have a wonderful week.